This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your grain market update. Uh, kind of seeing a little bit of pressure come into the market specifically for corn and beans, which I think is to be expected. For corn, we've been looking for a little bit more of a pullback against uh, some of these key technical resistance level for December new crop. 420. I think you invite a, a lot of producers to take some risk off the table on the inability to break out above there. Front month futures for July is really what we're focusing on from the trading perspective. We're looking at a lot of key technical support coming into this market from 394 to 397. This represents a key retracement on the year, the 50-day moving average, as well as a trend line from the January lows. And I think this represents a really good value on a, uh, buying on the first test of this. A break and close below that might neutralize the chart a little bit more. But as it stands, the trend has been higher highs and higher lows, and we're going to stick with that. Now, as far as the soybeans are concerned, a little bit different of a story. We've been making lower highs and lower lows, which has been rather bearish. And that's why we've seen the market break down below that $10 level for July. But coming into some support, 988 to 994, I think it is a value opportunity to look for a relief rally. Nothing more than that. It'll be a relief rally. The bears are still in control until the bulls see a close out above 1013 to 1016. This represents a key retracement as well as a key moving average. So that's going to be something to keep an eye on going forward. Now, wrapping things up with the wheat market, wheat catching a little bit of a bid over the past couple of sessions. But again, as with soybeans, I think this is probably a bit more of a relief rally that will be sold into. There's a lot of technical resistance from 502 to 505 and three quarters. This represents a retracement on the year as well as a gap from about a week ago. So if that gets filled and we cannot close above that, expect the sellers to come back in. On the support side, 477 to 483 is the target. There's several moving averages down there as well as retracements. I think that's going to be the objective for the short. So that's what we're looking at to round out the week. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.